I'm Ryan. I'm Zach. And we are RZ Outdoors. Outdoors. And today we will be going over the beginner's guide to tuning your bow. All right, so let's say you've been shooting all summer, your field points are hitting dead on. But as soon as you put in the uh, broadheads, they seem to be grouping but in their own land. That probably means your bow is out of tune. First thing I would check is make sure your ATA is correct, make sure your cams aren't leaning too bad. Now, for the beginners, that's something where you go to the bow shop, have them fix that for you. Please don't go and buy a bow press and think you're the world's best archer and you can fix your own bow because that can lead to issues. But for today, I know it's only the rest because I purposely messed it up for you guys. So the first thing you'll want to do is shoot it through paper. Uh, the best thing to shoot is a fletchless arrow. Uh, you can still do it with your fletched arrows, but being that they will cause drag and try to correct the arrow before it hits the paper, it won't give you a true reading on the paper. All right, so first you're gonna to wanna to put in your arrow and we're gonna be shooting through the paper. I'll be a lefty, so I'll be looking away from you guys for just a second. Draw back just like you normally would, just plainly aim and shoot through the paper. So now we are back at the target and now we're gonna read the paper. You'll see here I have the point at the bottom and the knock is high to the right, which means our rest is off and it is low to the left. All right, so here we now adjust the rest. First, I'll just do the vertical, which is pretty simple. Just loosen the screw, push it up just a hair, go very small increments at a time until you know where you're at. Let's see, right there. And then my screw is underneath here to adjust the horizontal. Pop it loose here. There we are. And then our rest was low to the left, which means that we're going to move it up and to the right. Okay. And going small increments, we'll see where we went now. All right, so we adjusted the rest just a little bit at a time. Now we're getting this grip right here. We are now better horizontally. It's a perfectly vertical tear. Now we have to move the rest just a little bit higher to meet up with the knock. We adjusted the rest again, and now we're shooting a perfect bullet hole. Now let's see how the bare shaft matches up with the fletched shafts. So now we are back to a plain target. We are going to shoot a fletched arrow and the bear shaft together to see where they are hitting together. And we are at a really close range of about seven yards. We don't want to start off too far away. And we got to make sure the sight gets partially adjusted close just to make sure we are not hitting the boards in the middle. see here I purposely missed off just a little bit just so I didn't bash my arrows together but you can see they are perfectly parallel coming out there is no space difference and they are both perfectly straight left to right out of the target I'm gonna take a little minute to set it back in and we'll test it out at 15 yards we're back at 15 yards I have the sight mostly on we're going to shoot at the little spot again and we'll see where they're hitting All right, let's go check it out. They're dead on here. You can see the shafts. The only thing pushing them apart is the veins right there. 
Now, when they're this close at 15 yards, you could even shoot a bear shaft out to 20 and it would still be right on. That means you could throw any broadhead that is centered in your arrow and it will hit true to your sights at no matter what yardage or where you're shooting. Now remember, it might not just be the rest that is off. You could have cam lean, the limbs could be a little bit off. In that case, you might want to make sure there's no cracks or anything in your limbs as well. The yokes could be off, your ATA could be off, your knock point could also be off. I know for certain that I have my knock point set exactly where it needed to be and I had already changed the yokes and the length to make sure the ATA is perfect. For the beginners, all you should really worry about is getting the rest fixed. If the rest doesn't fix it, bring it to the bow shop, they will help you with the rest. Please don't go out there with a rat to strap around your bow trying to change things. That will lead to a lot of issues and things that will cost you a lot more than just going to the archery shop. Otherwise, that is the beginner's guide to how to tune your bow. Thanks for watching.